Isn't Instagram the platform that makes us feel depressed, lonely and untalented? Shouldn't we all delete this app and focus on what is important in life? Well, I did. And my hiatus lasted about three years. But I also missed out on some amazing black and white photographers who can inspire us to make great images ourselves. And today we are having a look at some of the best black and white photographers who are quite active on Instagram. So what do these artists do that makes them so special? We are gonna start with Joachim Möller, whose images stand out from the majority. I especially like how he merges two or multiple images into one. Ando Fuchs lives in Austria, close to the Italian border. That's where his most striking images were shot, in the nature, in the mountains, but also in Venice and other picturesque cities. Jay Vulture is a fine art photographer from London who makes stunning pictures of landscapes and architecture. Joao Cabral lives in Porto and inspires me with his fantastic street photographs by day and night. And the work of this dude reminds me of the movie Sin City. Claudio Del Osa shoots some very interesting portraits. You've probably already heard of Alan Schaller. This British photographer is already a famous Leica ambassador and has published a wonderful book called Metropolis, which I highly recommend. Alan has been discovered on social media like Instagram a few years ago and is still very active now. The images of Kai Ziel almost always show a lone person in an interesting setting. I love how he composes his shots. And he sometimes reminds me of the great photographer Fan Ho.
The artist with the name Kei So amazes us with the long exposure portraits. Very unusual and very beautiful. Tobias Trump is an award-winning architecture photographer for a reason. Due to the dark sky and dark mood, his pictures look quite different. Kit Young doesn't just post images, he showcases the entire developing process of his film photography work. That makes his channel fun to watch. German-born Mark Kögel lives in Canada and usually shows us great landscape works on his channel. And he also experimented with other genres like this. Model captures his wonderful and moody landscape photographs in southern England. Noel's last image leads us to Rachel Talibard. Her black and white images of the waves called sirens are special. I recommend checking out her website where her images are displayed in a higher resolution. The dude by the name of Ramses shoots some very dramatic and high contrast landscape images. I don't want to do him wrong, but I guess there could be AI involved in some of these. Nevertheless, his work is stunning. Xavier Rizzi also edits some of his images heavily, however he has a beautiful portfolio and loves to use a lot of contrast. Michael Schlegel is a landscape photographer from Germany, but he doesn't show much of Germany. He travels to places like Iceland, Scotland and the Dolomites to create his magic. Pia Pellegrini shows us how beautiful the landscape in Switzerland can be. 
He has also won several awards with his works. Here comes Nina. She is also a multiple internationally award winning photographer. I love how she makes use of the lines in her urban images. That's truly impressive. Emma F. Wright shoots everything with an iPhone. She likes to play with reflections and composes her pictures nicely. Olivier Robert was born in Belgium but lives in Switzerland for 30 years now. He frequently travels to Japan and shoots beautiful images there. Last but not least, the very well-known Phil Penman from New York City. He also teamed up with Leica and was recently named among the 52 most influential street photographers alongside such legends as Henri Cartier-Bresson and Gary Winogrand. Man, there is so much great talent out there on Instagram that it was very hard to decide what to show in this video and what not. Um, it is impossible to show all great black and white photographers who post regularly on Instagram um, in this video. But I hope that this selection uh, inspires you to make your own black and white projects and tell meaningful stories too. If I missed out on somebody who inspires you, please let us all know in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching all the way to the end and if you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more inspiring black and white videos. This was episode number 13, 1000 to go and I see you soon.